Welcome back to Crochet HD. I'm your hostess, Jackie. Welcome to my one hit wonders, my first time viewers, my first time subscribers. I'm so glad that you're here. To my repeat offenders, I love you. Thank you for coming back. You know, this is your place. All right, today's video is not necessarily a chit chat cafe. It is what I'm just gonna call stuff I got because boy, did I get a lot of stuff. Expecting my uh, first order from Mary Maxim and <laughs> she's here. I don't remember what I ordered, not even a little bit, but I already know it's a chonky bag. Chonky usually means good when it comes to packages of course I like that I'm looking at the invoice as if reading the names of the yarns is going to tell me anything uh, more, yeah. More, 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 more. yeah all right here we go I'm gonna dump this out <gasps> Ooh. okay Oh, okay. All right. This was the, it was a, now I am going to look at the invoice. Okay. I'm up. I'm going to do that last. That was a mystery bag, a sock yarn mystery bag. Okay. This one, oh, look at this color. All right. This is Mary Maxim Ultra Mellow Spun DK, 70% acrylic, 30% nylon, 174 yards or 160 meters, made in Turkey. It's a number three. And this color is called Melon. That is really pretty. This, I am starting to navigate toward some, again, some different colors than my usual, but I, I am loving the, what do they call it? Melon? Melon coral. And I think it might be because my very favorite color is <laughs> this one. Well, kind of. Let's see. Yeah, my favorite color is, I don't remember if it's called like, it's like aqua mint lime. I mean, not lime. Aqua turquoise somewhere in that family but this is actually pretty close and these two colors together they just sing so again all of these are the mellow spun dk or ultra mellow spun and it's soft let's see yep yep okay i would make a hat a shawl a scarf a sweater and anything and everything out of this. It is very, very soft, very scarfable as Crystal would say. So yes, I got two of those. And again, if you can get a nice look at that and ooh, ooh, there we go. I think it's, oh my goodness. Yeah, I like this, let's see. This color is called medium blue. And wait. <sighs> Smells clean. You know, that's one, one thing I found. If you watch other videos, you can tell who watches Crystal's videos because they smell the yarn. And I'm not saying that that's an exclusive Crystal thing by all means, but they smell the yarn. They refer to something as being scarfable. So I just, it, it's kind of cool to see like a fandom inside of a fandom inside of a fandom. Yeah. Speaking of fandoms, I'm going off on a little bit. I'm going to continue with the unboxing. Don't worry. What? fandoms are you into? Sorry, I'm a geek. I'm a second generation geek. Um, my mother is a huge sci-fi geek. She, I can remember like every Sunday night 
she would make sure that she was at home in front of the television because she needed to be there in time for the doctor. And she would go on and on about the doctor, the doctor. And I'm like, the doctor, the doctor, whatever. Fast forward many, many years. And then my kids started watching the doctor. And I was like, I got to I got to see what's all this fuss about the doctor. Cause I'm like, this man's got to be 170,000 years old because my mother was watching it back in the eighties. Turns out he's probably about that old. Uh, yeah, I started with David Tennant and then went back to watch Chris Christopher Eccleston. And, uh, yeah, I'm a Whovian. Did you know that? Ah, uh, I also love Star Trek. I, my favorite, okay, I'm a TOS kind of girl. I have watched all of TNG. I watched all of DS9. I tried watching Voyager. I thought it was kind of cool when it started, but then I think I moved and I just, I just got away from, from that. Um, and I'm pretty sure, I feel like that's the last series, television series that I've watched. Uh, and uh, as far as the movies, my favorite TOS movie is Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. Second would be Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country. Star Trek V, they could have kept. I hate Star Trek V. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. The only thing I can really, truly remember that I didn't overly loathe was the scene where Uhura was dancing, like shadow dancing on the sand or something like that. But yeah, and then um, I did watch, uh, is it Generations? That's the one that actually had Captain Kirk and Picard in it. Uh, mixed feelings about that because uh, mixed feelings about that. And I believe that's the only TNG movie I ever watched. And fast forward to the reboot of Star Trek. My mom hates it, mainly because of the relationship with Spock and Uhura. And I totally understand that it was kind of a, it came out of nowhere kind of thing. And it was a weird feeling, but I mean, I've watched all of them and my favorite of those, uh, okay, my favorite full movie of those would be the second one with Benedict Cumberbatch because Benedict Cumberbatch, all right. Um, I love the twist that they did between, you know, the original Wrath of Khan and then this one. Can't remember the name of that movie, but it doesn't matter. It was Star Trek Benedict Cumberbatch. And uh, I love that. Uh, there was a scene in the, uh, is there third movie at the end when they showed the original cast? Yeah. That was like the best part. I love so. Star Trek. I love Doctor Who. I love Star Wars. I'm an Ridge Tridge girl. You cannot tell me otherwise. No, I don't know. I don't want to hear it. I, I love Quantum Leap, which is weird because I love Star Trek and I love Quantum Leap, but I never watched Enterprise. Um... Yeah, those are the only ones that I can think of right now. That doesn't mean that that's all that there is, but um, it was a conversation I was having recently and it made me think about it. So I just thought I'd share. All right, back to the unboxing. This color is dark green and guess what? It is dark green. Yeah, I only have, I've only made one thing out of dark green. It was that sweater that I made for my daughter. It's the, I'll get it right, Sersha. It's the Sersha sweater by um, Crochet by Carrie. Carrie Crochets. Hey, Carrie. It's Carrie and she crochets. And I will put her name right here. Anyway, because uh, this is actually like my daughter's, one of my daughter's favorite colors. She picked it. But uh, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm at, it's weird at this stage of life. I'm gravitating toward these colors that are just, not usually my thing, but I don't hate it. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> Next color is medium green. 
let me get this one up close so you can really see. See, this is kind of sagey. Oh, the green, that's my favorite color, seafoam. I, I knew I would think of it sooner rather than later. Okay, well, actually it was later. I digress. Anyway, this is like sagey and I need some sage in my life. Am I old? Old is relative. Love these. And I must have been thinking, because the, the last color is called light green, ah, light aqua. Okay, and I got two of each of these skeins. Let me see here. If I take this aqua with, not you. Red. I may have daydreamed a color. Hmm. Okay. Is that? There we go. No. This? No. All right. Whatever I was thinking, just don't mind me. This? No, 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 no. All right. From now on, when I place an order, I think I need to put somewhere in the notes what I was thinking when I purchased it. Like if I was like, oh, I can make this. And that way, when I get the receipt and the order, I could be like, oh, it says right here, Jackie, <laughs> you were going to make this. Huh? This. As I have no idea what I was thinking when I got them. I mean, you know, like what project I was thinking. Hey, All right, wait. so let's get into the secret, not secret, the mystery, mystery, no, sock yarn mystery box. This was $19.99. Let's get her open, shall we? First things first. Let me take a selfie. This is Superwash Wool and Nylon Sock Yarn. It's a number one super fine. Okay, it's approximately 459 yards, 75% superwash wool, 25% nylon, 100 grams. And the color is called, I don't know if this is the name or the color. So it says shade 001. It's a dark, it's like a purpley gray. Now, this feels like regular wool. I don't know what I would use it for, but I know I would not make a scarf or a shawl. I don't even think I would want this on my feet. It just, I mean, it's not bad yarn. It's just, it's not soft yarn. So yeah. Mm -mm. Okay, next. Premier Serenity Sock. I like this color. Only want to. Okay, our specs are 230 yards, 210 meters, 50 grams, 50% super wash merino wool, 25% rayon made from bamboo, and 25% nylon. It is a number one super fine. Um, okay, those look nice together. Anyway, this is softer than this. It's not bad. I've never had Premier sock yarn before. And so, yeah, it's not bad. I still don't think I would make, I, I don't think I'd want it up against my neck. Um, maybe a shawl, uh, you know, like, mm, maybe, maybe a shawl. Okay, next. Oh, I actually, oh, okay, I see. I actually ended up with two of the purples. And I'm just, I'm guessing that's left foot, right foot. Left foot, right, yeah. And then I got two of these, which is 
true style soaking vola, which is German. Ha <laughs> ha look at me. I'll tell you my German story in another time. It is 75% superwash wool and 25% polyamide. Yes, I translated that for you right quick. 210 meters and 50 grams. Okay, I like I like this. I don't hate them. I like these. It again, it 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 reminds me of like regular traditional wool, which is fine. And I'm sure depending on, you know what, depending on the stitch you use and see for fingering weight yarns, I don't, okay, I don't like using small hooks. Um, and I, I think because small hooks plus small yarn means it's going to take forever, but also so I was having a conversation. <laughs> I was I was having a conversation in the uh, comment section of uh, a crochet video. We were the conversation had to do with um, yarn softness, and for me, I think there's like three parts to really discerning a socks. I mean a sock a yarn's softness. The first feel is this the initial you know when it's still in the store feel you've got this and then you have the while you're actually crocheting feel and sometimes you know when you're when you're holding your yarn while you're working with it and it's sliding across your finger that could be that could be a, a lovely experience or it could be a really really awful experience so that would be my number two rating and um the third one would be what it feels like in the finished product. All of those things should be taken into consideration when you're choosing, you know, yarns to work with. Because, you know, there are yarns that they get a bad rap. You know which one I'm talking about. Um, but for me, that particular yarn, I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy the squish. I don't enjoy the rub. And I don't enjoy the finished project feel so that's the reason why I would steer clear of that um, with and that now that's with traditional crochet so I haven't actually used any of that kind of yarn in like for Tunisian so I know it might feel different in the finished but because the squish and the rub are so bad I would never even get to the finished uh, with these yarns uh, I think I think it would be a different experience because sometimes for me sometimes I like the feel of traditional wool with the little you know the toothiness I, sometimes I like that just because if, especially if I know that like if I'm making a hat and you know a wool hat that means it's going to be super warm so it's like you know I've got the motivation because of the inspiration and I know it's like okay I'm making this in it is it gonna hold up together yes I know because it's got it's got that feel in it so you know yeah but I definitely think when you're when you rate yarn it should be not just a ooh, I hate how it feels because there's different levels of feel and sometimes a yarn can feel bad when you like you squish it and it feels great and maybe the rub isn't great but the finished item is awesome or it's not not so bad but then you put it in a washer and dryer you know or you block it and then it's amazing so you know i am I'm, I'm just throwing all that out to say the next time you're looking at yarn give it the squish give it the sniff and the and the you know the scarfability feeling if you want but don't don't leave off the rub because the rub could be awesome and you know everybody does this to show you like the thickness of a yarn which that's actually two but when I do it I'm actually sort of trying to gauge the rub too this would not be so bad this one is definitely a softer rub so that's my 10 cents so that was everything I got from Mary Maxim now oh okay and it did include 
It's actually a... Aww! <sighs> okay. I actually got three patterns. So there was this one that I had already shown you, which is for lace socks using patent stretch sock yarn, which none of this is, but okay. Then patent stretch socks, stretchy baby socks. How cute is that? Can you see it? Oh, goodness. And then on the back, knee high stretch socks. Pedicure socks. I've never even heard of pedicure socks, but that makes sense. At the same time, I'm kind of picturing the looks on the ladies' faces when you go in to get your, pedi your pedicure and they're like, dude, what's wrong with your socks? <laughs> but, okay, so that's what? One, two, three. One, two. So four sock patterns that came in with the sock yarn. And unfortunately, they're all knit. But I'm going to hold on to them. And as a matter of fact, I'm starting to put together a little stash. A side stash. Because. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to just let you know this right now. <clears throat> In the future, if I'm going to do a giveaway... I'm not actually going to call it a giveaway because I, and I don't know if this is going to work, but sometimes you just have to think outside the box. And I know that when videos have giveaway in the title, it's like the spammers, they all stretch and they're just like in the comment section, boom, 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 boom. Just try and get your information. So I'm trying to come up with a terminology for a giveaway that's not giveaway or has anything to do with those words, but that you would know what it is. So if that's just a matter of me telling you in the video, instead of putting it in the title, but so just be on the lookout for something that sounds a little strange or coming from me. Um, but yeah, um, because you know, I have a lot of yarn and I would love to be able to share some of this yarn with my glam fam that's what i'm calling you i thought about this one i thought about it and i thought about it hard but glam is like glam rock from the 80s and fam because fam so why not glam fam you are that is your name i hope that you embrace it with the love and the admiration that went into developing that term for all of you beautiful lovely wonderful viewers of crochet adhd so my opinion on the mary maxim yarn haul i loved it i definitely would order again the way everything was, was packaged with mary maxim you could tell that they cared about their product and how it was going to be received and to me that speaks volumes so yeah I absolutely loved what I got and I thumbs up to Mary Maxim my next I feel like it's all names now right because there's Hirschner's Mary Maxim so I think Annie's Attic would be next just logically speaking um I don't know when that will be um but I'm just giving you my 10 cents worth <laughs> of an opinion if you like the video, please like the video. If you'd like to stick around, join the Glam Fam. By all means, do so. And until next time, I've been Jackie.